Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Introverts Anonymous, where I am an introvert and I do prefer to remain anonymous. So, here we go. Another unboxing. Please excuse my brain, this thing is upside down. <laughs> I guess that's how my brain works. So, yeah, this is another one of them uh, Black Friday unboxings. Yes, I've had these things for almost two months now and I still haven't opened all of them because I want to drag it out. So let's see what I got. All right. I closed, I dipped my hand in the box and pulled out another one. I closed my eyes and let's see what it is, what it is, what it is. Uh, Oh, it's heavy. That's all I know. It is heavy. Okay. Oh, this old shoe house. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God. All right. Let, let, let's get into this. Okay, upon further observation, I have realized that this thing is huge and it's heavy. Let's get the condom wrapper off and get into it. Let's dive in. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm shaking the camera, the table, everything. I really don't care. I'm just overexcited right now, okay? Leave me be. Ugh, I can't get it out. Let's just say that little wrapper on that thing took me about five minutes to get off. That is how tight it was in there let's get to it oh my god oh my god oh my god it is freaking huge wow all right let me roll it the other way all right so i rolled it backwards which orientation is this thing it is freaking huge whoa oh my god dang let's see Oh my God, there is no way I'm going to capture all of this on screen. <laughs> I did not know it was this big, but it is beautiful. Oh, wow. Okay, so, all right. I am a, well, I used to be, not so much anymore, but I used to be a very avid, like, romance novel reader, historical romance. And, you know, this kind of spoke to that half fairy tale romantic side of me oh my god it is big oh my god whoa let's see if we can bat that baby out and try to get it all in frame eh, my fingers are in the way i don't think it's gonna fit people <laughs> Look, all right let's take a little slow roll then let's take a little let's angle it up and take a little slow roll around the canvas i can't get the camera to angle down all the way to the bottom let me push it up a little bit we're gonna slow roll it over let me angle it up so you can get over that side yep baby this thing is huge that's all i gotta say <laughs> i didn't i whoa and I mean, I did not get this for it to be a quick project. I, I know it wasn't going to be because, I mean, it's landscape. I've never actually done a landscape diamond painting, or did I? I don't think so. And like I said, I'm getting back into it now. Um, let me give you a picture. Let me see. This is the large sticker of it. Um, please, again, excuse the glare. Look at that. It's beautiful. So, you know, you have your little old shoe house over here. You got your little canoe right there. You got my little mushrooms and everything. You got your castle up here. Oh, wow. Let me go up a little bit. Yeah, you got your little castle right there. It is just beautiful. And again, this is an older toolkit. So I'm not going to show that. Everybody knows what's in the older tube kit already. The thin bags, the small tray. You got your little wax. You got your little pen. And you got your, your black tweezers. And like I said, you know, the black tweezers are not really my style. Because they, to me, they tend to curl up more than the, um, the other ones. Ooh, this going to be a doozy to get this baby done in my lifetime. But hey, I'm loving it. So again, if you're still here with me, everybody, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. Hint, hint, hint. So what are we doing with our lives today? This is The Old Shoe House by Dominic Davison, and it is a 41.3 by 27.6 
inch or 105 centimeters by 70 centimeter diamond painting. Um, I don't, and it has 57 colors with three ABs. Y'all stingy. Only three? Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, people, look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> We're going to attempt to finish this in my lifetime. Okay. So yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, you know what? I'm thinking, all right. Come on, um, bear with me here. So I did buy some diamond paintings from Spell Queen. And I would say that their quality is excellent. Yeah, it's not licensed, blah, blah, whatever, whatever. But hey, the point is their kits are very good. The quality is good. The drills are good. And when I tell you, I had no trash at all. Um, maybe out of a, a, I think the small one I did for my birthday was a 30 by 30 cupcake. And y'all can go back and look at that. Um, I don't even know if I had 10 <laughs> trash drills. But the point I'm trying to make, come back to me, come back with me, is they had a lot of ABs in that kit. So what I'm thinking is, uh, you see like up here, I'm thinking of, um, this looks like a Japanese cherry blossom. I'm thinking of if I have the colors, dotting some of those ABs on the trees. So it doesn't have to be the entire kit, but you know, a little bit on the trees. I don't know if the kit came with any purple ABs. Let me see if I can get this baby to go up and put some in between here and there around a little bit. Not a lot now, just a little bit to kind of dazzle my baby girl up. You know what I mean? Yes. Of course, I'm assuming that this will be the white ABs. Well, at least I think there are white ABs in there. I don't know. I'm just making guesses here. Um, and for the rainbow, who knows? If I've got enough left over from that kit I did with Spell Queen, I may put the whole rainbow as AB. If not, who knows? By the time I do this, I may actually have completed some other kits and have more ABs to go around that way. And I think, like, right here for this blue, this blue right here, um... ABs would look good on that as well, you know. Maybe a little hint, glint in the water. Um, for me, I think I would have preferred the water to be a little bit bluer um, because it looked like a dirty water pond. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm from a different country, and that's what we call that thing, okay? Please excuse me. <laughs> All right, now back to the drills. Back to regular scheduled programming. Y'all still here with me? Hey! time to do the drill parade you know what thought came over my mind um as i was kind of laying out the drills on here now stay with me folks okay so this is a pretty large diamond painting and i'm thinking like a small family dining table like a four seater dining table in a rectangular shape that's about the size of this so imagine i don't know if it'll work or not if you did the diamond painting and then have a resin artist cast um, over the drills of the diamond painting and then turn that into a table. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm sorry. My brain is going somewhere else. But anyway, let's continue. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited? All right. Here's our first drill. And it's actually an AB. So that is 135. Oh, the other AB is here. Oh, my bad. We need to remember from the last video where the, where the camera lens is. That is 128. So that's nice. And we have 327. 762, what's this one? 904, we got like four bags of 904. On to the next one. We have 739, let me straighten you up a little bit because it's bugging me. 739, 815, 741, 894. Oh, here's another AB. What? Oh, so it has three ABs. My bad, I miscounted. Hey, get it together, girl. We got 129, 445, 9, uh, 47, 209, 400, 4, uh, 3, 38, 54, 321. Um, where does that go? Probably in the little red flowers. We have 33, uh, sorry, 334, 742, 939. I like that color. Uh, 3801. Ooh, that's bright. 606, 312. 30, sorry, 3024, that's two bags of fat, and 893. Let's keep it going. 907, 907, which we have two bags of, we have 210, we have 977, 823. 
Hmm, that's a little darker. Um, no, that's the lighter version of the 80, of the um 939, I think. 648, 648, which we have two bags of 743, 3755, we have 3756. 38, 37, 37, 99, which we have two bags of, 38, 41, two bags of that, 300, 38, 60, 550, 208, what's this one, I can't see, 33, 25, all right, on to the next one, we have 775, which we have two bags of, 895, which we have three bags of, uh -oh, it's raining out, Uh, we have 3025, sorry, 3023, 3776, 646, which we have two bags of. We have 3865, two bags of that. We also have 413, two bags of that. 3371, which we have four bags of. Now, this color is the color I tend to have the most problem with when it comes to Diamond Art Club. One kid I worked on. I had to throw away a whole bag of it because they were stuck together and it just got on my nerves. Um, so there is that. You still with me? Okay, good. We have 301. We have two bags of 310. And for our last little train line, here we go. We have 336, 890, which we have how much? Four bags off? No, three. Uh, 906, which we have a lot of bags of. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, seven bags of that. We have 645, which we have two bags of. We have 647, which we have three bags of. And to end with 938. So that's, that's a pretty, you know, pretty good uh, variety of colors in there. And I actually like that. Let me see where we can find these ABs, okay? So we have this one. I'm sorry about that. That's 129. And that is number two. Let's see if we can find it. So a little bit of it is actually right here where the toadstools are right there on top a little little brush of it on the toadstool a little bit on this one here as well um, let's find the other AB we have 128 that's number one and oh, where I said I wanted it to go would you look at that so up in the corner here right there specifically and a little bit over here a little uh, out of frame a little bit right there um there is one more ab let us find that one um that's 135 which is this green color let me put that over for you that's that green color right there that's number three and it's in the lighter colors of the bushes right there a little bit right up in there a little bit on our little um on our castle so anywhere you see like that lighter green that's where it is kind of dotted throughout the canvas but i do really really like this one it's just so whimsical fairy tale kind of you know vibe going on i i absolutely love it but alas we have yet again come to the end of another unboxing can y'all tell i'm having a little bit of a problem <laughs> And I do have several more to do, but I want to thank everybody for joining me on my journey. Again, this is Introverts Anonymous, a.k.a. Tina. Hey, uh, you know, where I am an introvert, I do prefer to remain anonymous. Thank you guys for joining me on your way out. I hope you're still here with me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, put them thumbs up in there, and please get notified. Okay, people, have a good day. Bye.